go to Singapore and Japan. Is that about the most you could have hoped for for today, realistically speaking? Yeah, I think we, you see that we are on the track that don't suit us. We are clearly third on the road, and uh, so three and five is probably the maximum exploit. Okay, a good drive from Lewis, I mean, very strong from George, but good drive from Lewis through the field as well. Yeah, that's what enjo enjoyable at the beginning. It looked like a little bit stuck, but then once he, once the tires came together, uh, he was he was very quick. How close are you to, to realistically targeting second in the constructors' championship as we go to the flyaway races? I think it's all to play. We are 35 points behind or so, uh, with six le six races left or seven. We just need to do the best every single weekend and then see whether we come out second. Would that soften the blow a bit of uh, you know this year's car? Um, it would maybe a bit, um, but there is more blows. Uh, they were ending up 30 seconds behind the leader, and uh, that is uh, that is the gap that we need to catch up. I almost dare not ask you about the uh, the safety car restarting. Um, they followed the the race director followed what they should do, and the race ended the way it was. Any view on that? The way things could have been done quickly. Maybe George could have been uh, dispatched to take his place sooner. You know, the race direction is going to be uh, going to be a. Under, under critics, um, but in this time they followed the rules. Uh, maybe they, they could have done it a lap earlier or let George through, but at least they followed the rules and they accepted that uh, the race ends on the safety car and uh, this is how it sh should be or shouldn't have been. And uh, Let's not get into that. Just one final word on Nick DeVries, a, a driver that you sat in your space at the at back of the garage and talked to. You've seen his career grow. He's been a Mercedes driver, a champion for you in Formula E. How happy are you that he's delivered two points for Williams today? And, and what are your thoughts on his future? I know he leaves your cover in, in, in terms of contracts at the end of the year. Do you think he could go to Williams uh, potentially? I think what else should he do in terms of performance uh, than what he has shown today? I mean, no training. Uh, jumped in a car that he hadn't driven straight into FP3. Uh, yeah, I mean, it showed, showed what he's capable of doing. Okay, great. Toto, thanks very much. See you in Singapore.